A huge crowd took over downtown Baltimore this weekend for a first of its kind festival. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs joins us now live from Federal Hill. And Abby, what makes this festival so unique? Well, Mallory, it was a new combination of Light City, which is a first of its kind in the country, and the Baltimore Book Festival, which has been going strong for over 20 years. So there was so much to do and see downtown. It was great for people visiting and for local businesses and book vendors, too. It's an exhibit that's getting rave reviews from critics. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, how cool is this? 10. The canopy is one of over 20 light art displays taking over Baltimore. If, if I stop, then I'll go down like that one. And if I keep pushing, then I'll stay up. For the first time, Light City and the Baltimore Book Festival were combined, drawing huge crowds to the Inner Harbor. This year's theme is Brilliant Baltimore. It's put on by Baltimore Office of Promotion and the Arts. We're very excited now to have them come together for a fall extravaganza. Along with combining them, the festivals were moved to November. It was a great idea. This is great. Yeah. It gets darker earlier, so we're able to bring the kids out early. It's been fantastic. We were surprised to find out it had been moved. But with the combining it to lights with Light City, the Light City event has been very nice. Vendor Christine Bowers says sales have been comparable, if not better, than last year when the book festival was in September. With it being beautiful weather, we still have lots of families out even at this hour on a Sunday night. So we have been really thrilled with the turnout. With the end of the weekend, the book vendors will pack up shop. But events continue through the week, and festival's director Kathy Hornig hopes people will give this new tradition a try. It's a chance for people to come down and make memories and new traditions and to shine a positive light on everything that's happening here in Baltimore. It's true. We've had our challenges. We continue to do so. It's been a rough year, but what a better way to end the year than by shining a light on everything that's positive. It shows uh, how much people love Baltimore and stuff. Do you love Baltimore? There are still a few more book events going on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday evenings, and the Light City runs through the week until Sunday when it culminates in a fireworks display. Live at Federal Hill, Abby Isaacs, WMAR2 News.